Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Silver. In the last episode, we had a I had a hosh posh of an episode trying to get the sixth team member of my team, as well as trying to complete some other tasks, which all went very horribly. In this episode, the big reveal of Corsla. After probably three hours of hunting this thing down, the second it turned into daytime. It appeared the very first try, so I'm wondering if maybe this is, uh... I'm wondering if maybe Corsola is supposed to be a morning Pokemon, because I could not run into it at all. And then, right as soon as it turned daytime, here it is. Uh, who do I want to use to catch this thing? Uh... I could probably use charcoal. This thing... In the time it took me to find this Corsola, I could have finished this game. That's how long I've been hunting this thing. Oh, that did not do near as much as I thought it would. Well, then let's use a quick attack. And that did about the same. Alright, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move to something else. Angelite, you can go ahead because uh, you're pretty good at using Surf. Which worries me. Uh, surf. I don't... Last time, as a level like 22 Chimchow, it was doing a little under half. Holy moly. Use a Thunder Wave. Get that Paralysis. I would have preferred Sleep, but that's alright. Oh, I could have switched to Oddish. So, yeah. Corsola. I used to like Corsola. After this, I would not say so much anymore. just wanted to torture me the first time I found this it was on my second try I found a Krabby and then I found Corsola and then I could never find one afterwards yes I want to name the same something nasty just because it made me so mad but instead I'm just gonna name it Coral Corral Coral uh, I'll live with it and with that, Anthony Hiker has a call. And with that, that is the sixth and final member of our team. Now, I know that uh, Corsola shares the water type with Angelite, but that's about the only similarity the two have. Uh, both of them have very different purposes. Both of them have a very different purpose, and both of them, I have a very different purpose in mind for them. Starting off, I want to go ahead and just teach Surf to Coral. Yeah, I was, I, I've been doing, I've been looking for this Corsola all night long. That's, I've been just constantly searching. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and teach. I was almost gonna switch it out for Shuffle. Wait a second, where's the rollout TM? Oh, I don't have one. Now that it's daytime. Yes, every time the day changes, I guess you get the berries again. Go ahead and pick up this berry. Go ahead and pick up this berry. Onto the not barn. And, uh, let's give it berries.
And yeah, that's it for today. So, all right, now that we are back where we were uh, last time, I wanted to talk about uh, Corsola for a little bit. So I know Corsola is not the greatest Pokemon in the world, and uh, Mr. B made fun of my Pokemon. That's really funny. I was very surprised to see my character's text written out. But, yeah, I know Corsola is probably not the best choice in the world for this team. However, I've always liked Corsola, and uh, some of the other choices that I've had throughout the... Uh, my process of picking which team I wanted to use, uh, there were other places I can use other Pokemon I wanted. So, Corsola has always been someone I've wanted to use, but as I said before, it's terrible. As it, it don't get a critical, don't get a critical, it got a critical. That should have been an easy win. Ouch. Uh. Uh, I mean, what am I even saying that for? <laughs> Needle King, very tough Pokemon. I hope this guy takes a, a phone number because I wouldn't actually... Well, says the guy who uh, knocked out my Corsola. So obviously power means something. And the reason why I'm not going through that building there and I'm going through the side is because they charge you every time you go through it. Ah. Uh. All right, now that that little journey back uh, is finally over, let's move on. Uh, yeah, you could skip that guy, so I'm skipping him. I need this experience, but I'll get it in a little bit. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Corsola in general. It's a terrible Pokemon. Uh, and the reason why I'm going up here is there should have been somebody up here somewhere, but uh, yeah. Interesting thing, when I was a kid, I was told if you talk to this guy seven days in a row... He would give you the pink butterfree that was from the show and uh yeah i never managed to talk to this guy seven days in a row however i do know now that uh that's a rumor and a lie and not even a good one so how i ever fell for it i don't know and up here you can see what looks like a kingdra a red kingdra which honestly i would, would have rather have had uh Pretty much. What you're going to want to do is save right here. I know it's dangerous to save in the middle of a recording because I've definitely had recordings fail before, just not in this game, other than ones that got erased, which at that point it doesn't really matter if you save or not. However, this is, surprisingly, my first instance of a shiny Pokemon. If, uh, you have a 1 in 8600 chance, I think it's like something like that, or 8000 chance, to, uh, you have a 1 in 8000 chance to run into one of these in the wild. Oh, come on! Blossom, you did not get very far. Gyarados is a tough Pokemon, even though we got very lucky. That's right, lucky. With that flinch. Ooh, this is about the most da That Dragon Range is the most dangerous thing this guy has. Bar none. So now that my team's complete, I wanted to talk about my full team a little bit. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is that it's not the greatest team I've ever built. Usually my teams consist of, uh, well, fire, water, flying, psychic, normal, and uh, electric. I don't really do many double typings 
or have two of the same type on the same team just because I find it counterproductive however water types usually an exception with me because they have such a versatile moveset that honestly you can make them whatever you want for instance Corsola I think is the only Pokemon on my team that can learn the move psychic while and while Angelite is the only Pokemon on my team that can learn uh, Thunder. Even though it won't learn Thunderbolt before the end of the main story, it still knows Spark. And for that reason, I think that just because I have two water types, it doesn't really make a difference on the world. And as for the rock type, yes, I dislike the rock type. You just saw it get its face kicked in by... Well, its face literally got kicked in by that Nido King with that lucky critical just when he needed it. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, eventually Onyx is going to lose that Rock type and trade it in for the much better Steel type, and that Gyarados got caught really easily. I'm very surprised. And this was before, uh, yeah, this was before. Pokedex, Pokedexes could handle the sprite changes. Yep, we're just gonna call this guy Ralph. Nothing special about that, but uh, obtain a red scale. I think that becomes important in a little bit. And if you come back down, you get to talk to this guy. But yeah, pretty much, I think my team is not the most balanced in the world. However, Lance, that's an important character you might want to remember for later if the giant cape wasn't uh, symbol enough, symbol, symbolic enough of that. I don't think my team is the most balanced in the world or the best in the world, however, I still like it a lot. And I've definitely used harder teams in the past. Actually, I think this probably will go down as the second most difficult team I've ever used. Alright, I went ahead and healed real quick, and he was talking about a mysterious broadcast being broadcasted from Mahogany Town that's forcing Pokemon to evolve and turning them shiny. If you walk into the rare candy bar... I forgot to buy a rare candy bar earlier. Whoops. That guy just quickly sideswiped out of the way. Wow, you drag a little kid on your adventure. And then just say, Alright, now that we're in this dangerous base, let's split up. Thank you. Drowsy. As I said before, I don't really have a good way of dealing with uh, psychic type. A lot of types. I mean, I could have gone for... I could have gone for the strongest team possible of uh, Kingdra. I could have gone for Kingdra, Typhlosion. What would it be? Lugia, Espeon, and all those other stronger Pokemon. But honestly, sometimes I have been playing a lot of Pokemon. And sometimes you just need to challenge yourself a little bit. Like I said, this is the first time I've actually lost a battle in Pokemon Silver in a very long time was in the Chuck's Gym. Cyan Wood City Gym. So as you can tell, this is a rocket hideout. Nothing special about it. And uh, we're going to do what every hero does. Go in and stop the bad guy. And with that, that drowsy goes down. And he wants to go to a Zubat. However, we know how to deal with Zubats. And I'm going to go ahead and instead switch to Charcoal. So that way Charcoal can get experience. Because Charcoal is, well, falling behind. Actually, I should be throwing Corsola out at the front on all these battles. So that way it gains levels. Ooh, that's not good. Very much not good. 
Confuse Ray, a much better supersonic as it's more accurate. And it didn't save him. And with that, we added the sixth member to our team. Oh. I guess it's just an endless endless barrage of every grunt in this building. I'd say we accomplished quite a bit in this video. Uh, we added the sixth member of our team. We caught the shiny Gyarados in Lake of Rage and uh, unlocked the team rocket hideout in Mahogany Town. So, in the next episode, in the next episode, we're going to go through this lengthy dungeon and hopefully start evolving even more of our and hopefully start fleshing our team out even more. See you guys in the next one.